Okay, we have a problem that's off the 2005 AP Calculus AB exam. This will invite you to ask yourself, is it better that you were born two years later or would you rather have had this problem than the one you're going to get this year on the test? It's a word problem. It is from the no calculator part of the test. Essentially what, what, it's, what you're given is that there's a metal wire that's being heated at one end. It's eight centimeters long and then you're given data sporadically along the length of the wire. Note that the data is not at equal intervals. But we have distance in centimeters and then temperature T of X in degrees Celsius. And then we're asked to uh, evaluate a number of questions or quantities here based on that. So we'll go through these in order. I'm going to have to erase a few times unfortunately, but Hopefully you can read everything I'm writing. So the first thing it says is estimate t prime of 7. Well, we know that derivatives are the same essentially as instantaneous slope. We don't have enough data here to get an instantaneous slope. The best we can do is get the average slope over a short interval. And so 7 would be here, right? And it happens to be equidistant between 6 and 8, so that's convenient. So we can say that whatever the slope is on this short interval is going to be close to the slope of t at 7, which would be the derivative at 7. So we're going to say this is approximately equal to the slope over this interval. So that's going to be the, the, the change in, in this case, temperature divided by the change in distance, right? We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't want to have change in distance over change in temperature inches per degrees Celsius. That doesn't have any physical meaning. So we're going to have here 8 minus 6. Oops, I'm sorry, I almost almost fell in the trap myself. 55 minus 62 divided by 8 minus 6, which is, this is 7, right? minus 7 over 2. And that's going to be degrees Celsius per centimeter. Right, so the part A's of these problems are always pretty straightforward. They want to invite you to sort of get into the problem, get a little confidence behind your, yourself. Okay, so that's part A. I'm going to erase that because part B, part 2 is going to take all of my space here. It says, write an integral for the average temperature of the wire and then estimate the average using a trapezoidal sum. 